I got, I got C's in science. What? <laughs> yeah, apparently in grade school, science and I didn't get along. So there you go, kids. Uh, Come a long way now. It now sure fascinates has. me, and the weather does as well. Today, as you stepped on out of the door, you probably didn't like the weather because it's below average for this time of the year. Uh, through the four o'clock hour, the cloud cover was here. We saw the rain developing for us, and we knew our rain chances would increase late in the day. Even though we saw some scattered showers off and on through our early afternoon hours, now going into the evening hours, sun setting, and still some scattered showers around. So have the umbrella close by if you still have some more errands to run this evening before getting home to your family, or just maybe one more that you have to run out and come right back. We're seeing these scattered showers near Cleveland right now, also down uh, towards parts of Hill County. Same story down through parts of Ellis County. Some stronger storms pushing closer towards crossroads. You see the lightning there. Nothing is severe. But at one point today, some of these storms had the potential of some pea sized hail. And we see the majority of the activity down in our south counties, and that's where our rain chances are slightly higher going into the evening hours. And in some spots, picking up about an inch and a half of rain over the past 12 hours. Our temperatures haven't changed too much. We're still sitting in the mid 50s to the low 50s across the Metroplex, also across North Texas, seeing 51 right now in Sherman to 51 in Bowie to 53 right now in Denton. Clouds will be slow to clear, but they will clear out through the remainder of the night tonight. Rain chances still 50 to 60 percent. Then overnight, we'll see the clearing of the clouds, allowing our temperatures to start to cool down just a bit more for us when we have clearer skies overhead. So by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, you're going to need that winter coat at 42 to 44 degrees. We then warm up into the mid 50s with north winds holding on near 15 to 20 miles per hour. So then going into Friday night into Saturday, the cold air really settles its way on in. We're going to be seeing clear. Clear skies before the clouds start to increase again through the day on Saturday to give us that mix of sun and clouds. So the cold air will be in place. It's going to be cold enough that there is a freeze watch late Friday night into Saturday morning that does include the north sides of the Metroplex, does not include Tarrant County and Dallas County. You can see the counties indicated in blue where we have the freeze watch. And here's the reason why we'll be possibly into the upper 20s from Gainesville to near Clarksville, which is below freezing, right near the freezing mark McKinney to Denton. Above that in the south sides of the Metroplex. So the average date of the first freeze is November 22nd, so slightly earlier than that. First freeze last year, though, was November 12th, so very close. The latest first freeze, January 4th of 1972. And talking about those freezing temperatures, more on the way possibly into next week. We have rain again on Monday, cold front passes through, and just above freezing for Tuesday morning, and temperatures remaining below average the next seven days.